Hey guys and welcome to the new episode of Full Throttle. After we showed you the super sporty BMW X4M, now we have a totally different car. This is the new Jeep Wrangler Sahara and is one of the best off-road SUVs in the market. Now let's check out what's under the hood of the Jeep Wrangler. The version we have here is the 2 liter diesel with 200 horsepower. You also get the 2 liter petrol turbo engine with 270 horsepower. Those are the only two engine options in Europe. In the US market you get a V6 and a V8 petrol. If you want to open the hood you have to unwash this watch here and then this one right here. And then you can lift up the hood like this but it's really heavy what's also interesting is that it's not walked in any way and anyone can unwalk it if they come to your car The first thing we notice in front of the Jeep Wrangler is this front bumper that extends at least 10 inches in front of the car. We have the classic Jeep grille which remains unchanged from the previous models. And for the first time we have LED headlights here. We have the exposed hood watch here and we have water sprinklers which are placed here on the hood. We also have these fake vents all around the car which are a bit ridiculous for a 2 liter diesel. The first thing we notice on the side of the Jeep Wrangler is how much space there is between the fender and the tire because of the off-road suspension. Since this is the Sahara model we have 18 inch wheels with tires which are made for the road. On the Rubicon versions you get more off-roady tires. Also all the door hinges are exposed and you get these bolts here because you can as you know take the doors off. This is the two door version of the Jeep Wrangler. You can also get it with four doors but this is the one you want if you really want to go off-road because it's shorter. You also get this running board here here on the Sahara model but you don't get it in the Rubicon versions because it will be a problem if you really go into a deep off-road. The first thing we notice in the back of the Jeep Wrangler is the spare tire with this leather cover. We also have the reversing camera integrated right here. The back of the car looks really square and boxy and in order to open the boot you have to use this handle here, then you have to open it up like this and in order to close it you have to follow the exact same routine and this one is pretty heavy. The interior of the new Jeep Wrangler is what you'd expect from a typical off-roading SUV. You get a lot of grab handles and two levers here, one of which is for the gears and the other is to change between all-wheel drive and rear-wheel drive only. You get a lot of sturdy materials and plastics because you can take the roof off and if dust and wind comes in the car you have to be ready. And because this is the Sahara model you get leather seats, you get heated seats and heated steering wheel which are extras which you don't get on the more off-roading Rubicon models. One of the coolest things about the Jeep Wrangler is that you can take some parts of the car off if you want to. For example, if you want to take the roof off, you have to unlock these watches here, here, here and here and you can just lift up the panel and now you have a cabriolet. You get this giant radio antenna which is quite strange for a modern car. There's little original Jeep on the wheels and on the gear lever. You also need to press this giant metal red button to change gears. When the rear seats are up you are left with almost no trunk space, but you get this giant waterproof speaker. Under the storage area there is a special compartment where you find the tools to take the panels off the car. And this was where you can store the boats. And it's pretty strange how the tail lights are inches away from the coupe. Even though the real driving talent of the Wrangler is off-road, the new model is surprisingly capable in the daily life as well. The 2.2-liter .2 four-cylinder diesel engine is smooth and quiet and the 200 horsepower it has are more than plenty to power the Wrangler. The MPG is also miles ahead of what the big petrol engines give. Of course you have to get used to sitting higher than everyone else in the traffic and you get plenty of body roll in the bends, but once you get used to it the Jeep becomes a perfectly reasonable car to drive. The new Jeep Wrangler is truly an amazing car, a modern version of an off-road classic which hasn't lost any of its charm and talent along the way. The Wrangler is amazing off-road but now comes in a package that works in the streets too. For those looking for a new capable off-road SUV, the Jeep Wrangler will be a perfect fit.